Hi guys, welcome to Retro Peace Theater and our playthrough of the game that gave me the most nightmares as a child, Shadowgate. I'm here with my sister. Uh, we're going to play through this. Uh, actually, Heather's going to do the plane as I try not to go into a panic attack as I relive the nightmares of my youth. Because I'm the one that knows how to play this game. That too. I haven't played it in easily 20 years, at least. Uh, yeah. for, for good reason, and you'll see why. Well, actually this game came out in 1991, so you would have been like, what? Three? three? So I was, if I can do the math, like seven. Um, I remember playing this game a lot as a kid. It was it was really fascinating for me. It's it's a really great um, sort of intermediate intermediary game between the solid text based and then video games that would come after. Um, it's it is very text based, but you get a cool picture to look at. Um, the music is also scary as all get out. Yeah, no, the music is creepy. <laughs> like, um. we put on this uh, initial screen right here, and what was your reaction? I, I shuddered. I felt the hair on the back of my neck stand up, and, the, and that genuinely is the way it feels. It gets under your skin and unnerves you, and there's a couple sounds in the game. There's one where you're about to die, and you'll hear it because you can't avoid it. Eventually, that music will come up, and it is the it will haunt you at night. So yeah, here, here we go. It's pretty terrifying. Um, the thing is, Shadowgate is also actually really funny. Yes. Um, yeah, there I is... think it, it kind of has to be, since it's so text-based, you know, to, to create interest. So we're going to create file one here. I'm going to read the text here. <clears throat> the last thing that you remember is standing before the wizard Lachmir as he waved his hands. Now you find yourself staring at an entryway which lies at the edge of a forest. The druid's words ring in your ears. Within the castle's shadow gate lies your quest. The dreaded Lord Lock Lord will use his black magic to raise the behemoth from the dark depths. The combination of his evil arts and the great titan's power will surely destroy us all. That sounds bad. You are the last of the line of kings, the seed of prophecy that was foretold eons ago. Only you can stop the evil one from darkening our world forever. Fare thee well. Gritting your teeth, you swear by your god's name that you will destroy the warlock lord, Cthulhu! It's not Cthulhu. Okay, so... <laughs> You've got your options here of different um, things that you can do, like I can look at the door and it tells me it's a heavy wooden, wooden door with iron hinges. Um, it's, it's a lot like playing um, like Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah, where way. you know you you, you, know, you, you you play the game and if, for those of you who've never played Dungeons and Dragons, it's entirely tabletop. You have it's fueled based on your imagination so what do you see in the room? What can you feel? What, what's around you? And you have to ask these kind of questions and in this game you have to do a lot of that and I think that's part of why it appealed so much to you and me is well, you know, we grew up, our dad played Dungeons and Dragons, we play, we've played RPGs for years, mm -hmm. it, just as children and still today. It's yeah. my favorite game, I think my favorite game style. Well, I mean, then the graphical limitations of the NES at the time you know, you're not really going to be able to see everything um, that the game wants you to see. It's the skull of some creature. Its meaning seems quite clear. Death lurks inside. Let's go in. All right. All right. Yay. So we're going to go down here to open and... The door is open. Yay for doors. It's the door leading into the castle shadow gate. Now, I mean, the fact that you can just open the front door is a little anticlimactic. It is. It is. But you know what? <laughs> I you feel know, like that. It's okay. I feel like that sets us up because we're going. You know, it's it's like okay, let's this is this is gonna set us up a little bit because here you can easily walk into this castle of death. You know, just, <laughs> please come inside. Right. It's a stone wall. Um, something that is really important in this game too are your torches. Yes. Um, yes. You have to have. You have two torches here. You have to have one at least partially lit at all times, or you will die. Yep, and that's what I'm. That's what I was talking about. The the music that signals your doom is when the torch starts burning low, and you don't. You haven't lit another one. That's your warning. Yeah. Um. Now this box down here will show you all of your available um, entrances and exits, and when you hit move, you can either hit the little square, which moves you forward, or you can actually go to the door and now, move forward. I'm I. 
can you go can you go back for a second? Um, and Hang there's on. a reason. We're, oh. we're about to have some more text. That pitiful wizard Blackmere was a fool to send a buffoon like you to stop me. You just called me a buffoon. A buffoon. It doesn't sound like a very medieval word, but. You will surely regret it, for the only thing here for you is a horrible death. Well, thanks, guy. Cool. Nice. The sound of maniacal laughter echoes in your ears. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, so to that end, what we were talking about with the torches being important, you want to take. Yeah, take. I can get my... There we go. There we go. The torch is in hand. Yeah, we don't have to read that. You know, we took the torch. It can get a little finicky. You can't um, take it. Because you can see, like, my cursor is there right next to the torch. But because I'm not actually, yeah. like, on the torch, I can't take it. Yeah, so, the, the hitbox on it is so small Yeah, it can to trigger that. Get a little, um, little. Now, the reason I would... Uh, I feel like there was something, and, and maybe you'll get back to it, but I felt like there was a key or something in that first area. I remember... I didn't really play this much, but I felt like... I felt like you did. Like, if, Oh yeah, I played this a lot. time. Like, I felt like, and, and correct me if I'm wrong, that skull. Doesn't that skull on the first screen move? Well, we can certainly let's, try. Let's try Because something, something about that skull, I don't know, uh -oh. I could be wrong. It's the entrance to Shadowgate. You can hear wolves howling deep in the forest behind you. Um, so, um, we got a lot of, we can just try open. Yeah, try opening it. See if the skull opens. Hey, oh. there we go. All right, I knew I wasn't losing my mind. As if by magic, the skull rises. No, I don't really know why, but, you know, I'm not going to argue with it. As if by magic, you moved it. The skull rises. <laughs> All right, so now we have key one. Okay, key one. There we go. You stand in a long corridor. Huge stone archways line the entire hall. Um, another thing, your cards over here are your items. So, goods and spells yeah. are what you have. Um, you can also do things to yourself. Like, yeah. <laughs> I can look at myself. Thou art truly a brave knight. Not that I think much of myself or anything. No. Yeah, yeah. Um, can you hit yourself? I can actually hit, hit myself. Hit Smash! Now you see stars. So. Nice. Yeah. Can you can you open yourself? Open my, how could I do that? <laughs> it won't open. I'm not. <laughs> so let's let's take a look around here. We got this. Uh, it's a beautifully woven rug. Woven rug. We have a door here. This wooden door is reinforced with heavy sheets of steel. And then we have this. You can kind of see right here. There's a a door on the side. Yeah. And it's this little tiny door right here. Even though this door is only an inch thick, it is very sturdy. So, you know, we try opening, opening some doors. The door is locked. Yeah, can we open this door? The door is locked. Well, luckily. What about key one? Will that open? We have a key. Um, each key will only open. You seem to be wasting door. your time. Because you're trying to take it, and I, I think you have to use it. To use, it. use. Use. Key, key. one. So which door do you want me to use it on? Uh, it's the, the little one. The little door. Little door. Little mm. door. Key doesn't fit into the keyhole. Okay, oh, the and big it, door it, because it's our it's own. Dramatic about it. All right, let's see this on the big door. Click. The key worked. It unlocked the door. I'm very excited about this key. You are very excited about this key. I, double exclamation points on everything. All right, let's go forward. Moving, moving forward, moving forward. Dun dun dun. The stone walls seem uncomfortably close as you walk down the stairs. Who designed this castle? <laughs> so, I'm apparently wasting my time. Yes. Let's look yes. at this guy. What is look, this? Look, look. It's an ancient tome. It seems that no one has disturbed its pages for centuries. Ooh. We have some more torches. More torches, yes. Can you, can you take said can torches? You never have too many torches. The torch is in hand. The torch is in hand. Um, well, let's try... Uh, it looks like a little... Let's, are you, you going to open the tome? I'm going to open the tome. Open the tome. The book is opened and examined. A rectangular hole has been cut out of the inside of the book. So, it, the book and what's in it opens up over here. So, we will take... Oh, okay. I see. So, the key two is inside. Key two. Does key two open that other door? Do you think? We can find out. Yeah. No, you don't have to do this, but I'm going to then close the book. The book. You closed the book. Oh, how nice of you. You left things how you found them. Right. I mean, that's what we were always taught, right? Yeah, yeah. You, uh, you always leave places better than you found them. All right. So, you know what? Uh, we're going to... We're going to... All right. Gonna so save. We're going to save. Yes, save. Because you can die a lot in this game in some very, very creative ways. Um, 
But, all right, so that's where we're going to end episode one. We'll come back here in just a moment. And uh, we're going we're gonna to continue on with episode two. If you like what we're doing, please like and subscribe. Share it with your friends so it's not two people talking into a microphone. Thanks, guys.